Greetings once again. Welcome back, pipe smokers. Valentine's Day. I hope everyone's having a great Valentine's Day. Taking the wife out for dinner after I'm done here. Loaded up my little Rossi Nadi with Innerdale. I probably got maybe two bowls of this left in here, and that's it. It's gone. I think I'm ordering the two tins tonight. I know I'm going to actually. So again, I hope everyone had a wonderful Tuesday. Most of you probably worked, I'm sure, but you're not retired. I had a better day today at work. No issues whatsoever. Go figure. It's kind of shocking, actually. I really thought I was going to walk into a bunch of shitty emails. But I didn't. It was strange. See at the third light, it does a trick here. So as I stated, after I'm done smoking here, me and the wife are going to... Uh, what do they do? Losing their thing. We're going to go out to dinner. We're probably just going to have pizza, actually, which is awesome. I haven't had pizza in probably a month, and I need it. And we got some pretty great pizza places in Rockford. Looking forward to it. So we might be getting some snow Thursday, maybe, one of those deals. Um, we'll see. So has anyone spotted any new balloons in their neighborhood? What a joke. What a complete fucking joke our government is. The neocons. They're just. Our government, the media, those who believe everything that they those people say, they're a joke too. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed uh, smoking out of my patio yesterday. It's actually out there until it was almost dark. Stayed out there quite a while. Really looking forward to uh, the summer out there. Kind of been looking at pricing like, uh, what do you call them? Not really a gazebo, but pavlas or whatever. Looking at marketplace, there's some that are pretty reasonably priced. The only problem is Dismantling them, remantling, you know, building them back up, getting them here. Sure as hell ain't gonna buy one from Menard new. Checking out other channels. 
keep it up, you know. It amazes me, you know, some of these, a lot of these guys that I follow. Right, okay. Right now, I, I know I have like the most tobacco I've ever had on hand. My cabinet in the house, completely full. I can't, I can't store any more in there. I got some out here on this thing. And I watched some of these other guys. They never smoked the same thing. It's like I, I can't even fathom probably what their uh, what their cellar looks like even. You know, and I, it's, I don't need to like see it, but my God, uh, you know, Willie, um, Rock and Steady, Thirteen Pipes, Tramper Scott, all you guys. They're smoking something different every day. They don't smoke the same, like me, you know, I'm smoking, generally smoking like the same five blends all the time. It's crazy. If I get to that stage, I'm gonna have to figure something out where to keep it. That might become a problem because A lot of guys, they got stuff that's five years old. Like JC, yeah, he's got you know smoking stuff. It's like I, I just don't have the even the patience to. I can't hold on to nothing that long. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna start trying. I'm, I'm, what I'm thinking is I'll just start buying two tins of everything, especially the things that. I know I enjoy it. Buy two tins, smoke one, store one, and just keep doing that and try to be disciplined about it. And uh, who knows, maybe three or four years down the line, I can have some aged stuff that I can compare because obviously most most people that I you know watch that that smoke their aged tobacco say that it improves the the tobacco. I believe I can believe that. Has everyone checked it, checked out that uh, derailment in Ohio yet? The whole story, because the media is not really reporting on it. Oh, by the way, there was one in Nor Norway today, one in Texas, one in Louisiana. So they're happening all over now, if you didn't hear that. Yeah. So it's kind of like an epidemic of... Uh, these train derailments all over. Just strange, isn't it? I saw some pictures from the Palestine, Ohio one, and that's, it's bad. It's very bad. You're saying, you know, that stuff running down the Ohio River and it's running into the Mississippi River um, within like a hundred yards of where it happened. You, you're seeing dead fish, dead animals, people's pets are dying. It's not good, but the media can't, you know, they don't think they should. That's not something that, you know, the American people might want to know about. I'm telling you folks, the Western media is bought and paid for, and if you still just get all your information from them, 
I really don't know what to tell you. I really don't. My aunt and uncle visited my parents last week, last weekend. And my aunt and uncle showed up, which is my mom's youngest sister, who, by the way, is only, that's a funny story. She's uh, eight years older than me, I think. <laughs> that kind of gives you an idea. She was born later, and uh, my mom had kids early. So. But they showed up. My uncle's name, we call him Butch. His name's Albert, we call him Butch. Awesome guy. He's as friendly of a guy as you ever meet. He would, he'd probably do anything for anybody. But me and the, me and the old man were sitting there and they showed up and I bet he asked, I bet he meant, he said, did you see in the news like 10 times inside of an hour? I just wanted to get up and shake him. Stop watching the fucking news, dude. I just don't get that there's still, I can't believe there's still people that actually pay attention to what the freaking media says. It's, it, blow, it boggles my mind. And it frustrates the shit out of me at the same time. Well, there's no people that watch CNN, for crying out loud. Unbelievable. So again, I hope anyone who lives in that area or around there, I, my thoughts and prayers go out to you. I hope everything's okay. It's just very, very sad what happened. And the government literally decided to light the shit on fire. What's on? There was a spill, and the, hey, the best way to, to deal with this is to just burn it. Let it burn. A cloud you can see for hundreds of miles. Toxic, toxic shit. They hate you. Your elected officials hate you if you haven't figured it out yet. The FBI, CIA, they all hate you. You are nothing but a nuisance to them. Forgot my damn pipe bag here this morning. That pissed me off today, too. Had it all prepped, ready to go, and I leave the house. I'm halfway to work. Fuck, I don't have my pipe. Warming up day. Well, again, I hope everyone had a wonderful Valentine's Day. Take the wife, significant other, take them out to dinner, enjoy the night. Um, as always, I appreciate everyone who comes, visits the channel, partakes in the channel, comments, wishes me well, all that. If you like the channel, Please subscribe and like. Make sure to remember to like. Uh, that's really important, I guess. On It helps boost your views. The more likes YouTube kind of puts it out for more people to view or something. According to Willie. And he's never wrong. So. Wonderful to see everybody again. And until next time. If you got him, light him.